Hey guys, this is my new Eagle plasma table. It's five by 10. The reason for the crime scene tape is this has been a project. It started with, I have a steel building. I had to run cable from the house, which is 70 feet away. So I had to run a trench so I could get internet and phone over here. Eagle has a super customer service. Um, call down there, talk to Al. He will walk you through every part of this thing. Um, any question I had, as dumb as it was, he helped me through it. They can even tap into your line and watch you move the mouse around and tell you what you're doing wrong. Super people. I got a bunch of people to thank. Uh, Adam for building my computer for me. Um, Baker Gas, they're over in Ohio. I'm here in Wisconsin. I needed a, a cable through Hypertherm. Hypertherm engineers told me what I needed. Um, and then Baker Gas, I swore that they drove it here overnight. It was here so quick. So thanks to Baker Gas. Hypertherm, they were super about it. Um, I put everything on wheels. I, I, the computer stand and the monitor over here. Um, I had put them on wheels and I can roll this thing around uh, when I bring the pickup in to when I bring the pickup in here to, to put the plow on uh, for our lovely winters. Now I decided that I was gonna do a downdraft to get the smoke out of here. That was my intention a whole throughout this whole thought process till the last minute. And I thought if it's 20 below, I don't want to suck the heat out of here. Even though I don't heat it 24-7, um, I didn't want to suck the heat out when I'm running it. So I decided to go with a water table. Well, it would have been nice if I had uh, more than five foot wide steel, but I didn't and no one around did. Or I would have just had it broke five by five and, uh, and uh, just had short little welds, four little welds. Instead, I had to make it five by five the bottom and then welded sides on it. I put a drain in here so I can drain it out, but uh, the reason why I didn't do the other half of the table was I don't anticipate any big jobs right now, so I just wanted to get this up and running. If I get a big job, it'll take me a day to, to, to combine two tables into one, and uh, th this, half, or th this half here holds 43 gallons of water, so um, let's just stick with this half for now. Uh, we're going to run this. It, it's pretty much, I, I just ran it a little bit and the settings were off. Um, and it, it's just trial and error, whether you go by uh, Hypertherm's book and speed it up or slow it down. It just, uh, you're just going to have to mess with it. I made the pattern a little larger for some reason. It was pretty small. So we're going to try running it and, uh, see how the, actually the second cut comes out. Um, water table seemed to work real good. So uh, let's, let's give it a try and, and uh, I'll film it and we'll see how it works out. So <laughs> and we'll give it a try. So here should be the first pierce.
there we go. So I can see a couple issues. I don't know if we were going too slow or too fast, but uh, get the gist of it. I can feel the draws on the back. So yeah, quite a quite a big draws. So we'll have to uh, reset the speed on that. But for the really the the first cut, and uh, I noticed that I never hooked the ground up to the plate. Um, it's laying in the water there. So uh, I guess that's the nice thing about the uh, water table. It uh, completed the ground. But we'll, uh, we'll go through a Hypertherm's book and see what they say as far as speeding it up or slowing it down. Uh, but that's the first one, and it's going to get better. And this just gives you an idea of what you're going to have to go through when... Uh, when you uh, build one or, or go ahead and buy one. Like I say, Eagle's been super about helping us along with this. That's really the second cut that we've done. So, uh, hey, there you go. See you guys again.